Hey guys, welcome back. Today's problem is very easy. The implementation part only has three lines of code. So without wasting much time, let me explain the question. There are two cats and one mouse. You are given the positions of all the three in a straight line. So the cats here are trying to catch the mouse. There is cat A and cat B. The mouse is caught by the cat who is closest to it. And if there is a case where both the cats are at an equal distance from the mouse, then the question states that the cats end up fighting and the mouse lives. So if you're given the positions of cat A, cat B, and mouse C, your job is to return cat A if cat A catches the mouse, return cat B if cat B catches the mouse, and return mouse C if both the cats are at an equal distance and the mouse survives. All right, so as usual, you can pause the video here and try to solve it on your own. If you're having trouble, then let's move on to the logic part. The logic for this question is pretty straightforward. Since it's given that all the three characters in our problem are in a straight line, we can picture them to be on an imaginary x-axis. We are also given each of their positions on this axis. To know which of the cats is closer to the mouse, all we have to do is subtract the positions of the cat with the position of the mouse. We also need to remember to only consider the positive values of our result, so we do it with the help of the absolute function. After subtraction, whichever cat gives the smaller value will be returned. And finally, if after subtracting both the answers are equal, then it means that the mouse survives, so we return mouse C instead. That is all for the logic part, that was very easy. Before we move on to the implementation part, if you find these videos helpful, a like on this video would be really great and a sub to this channel would be fantastic. That being said, let's move on to the implementation part. So as inputs, we get X as a position of cat A, Y as a position of cat B, and Z as a position of mouse C. And as the output, we will be returning a string which will hold either cat A, cat B, or mouse C. So let's start with declaring and initializing our strings, cat A, cat B, and mouse C. Next, I'm going to write an if statement which will check if the cats are at an equal distance from the mouse. So if z minus x is equal to z minus y, then we return mouse c as the output. And remember, we need to use the absolute value. So we pass the expressions z minus x and z minus y to the abs function. If this condition fails, then we return either cat a or cat b, depending on the evaluation of the ternary operator. If z minus x is greater than z minus y, it means that cat A is at a farther distance from the mouse. So we return cat B. And if Z minus Y is greater, then cat B is at a farther distance from the mouse. So we return cat A instead. That is all for the implementation part. Let me copy this and paste it in the website. And we have cleared all the test cases. With that, our program is complete and so is this video. So till we meet again, take care, goodbye.